Hi everyone and welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about most luxurious private jet. Please subscribe and type subscribe in the comment section below. The Gulfstream G650 is a large business jet produced by Gulfstream Aerospace. The model is designated Gulfstream GVI in its type certificate and may be configured to carry from 11 to 18 passengers. Gulfstream began the G650 program in 2005 and revealed it to the public in 2008. The G650 was formerly the company's largest and fastest business jet, with a top speed of max 0.925, having been surpassed by the larger G700. The aircraft project was named the 2014 winner of the Collier Trophy, for having strengthened business aviation through significant technological advancements in aircraft performance, cabin comfort, and safety. The G650ER is an extended range version of the G650, adding about 500 nautical miles of range. The 300 was delivered in April 2018, just over five years since introduction in December 2012. The 400th was delivered in December 2019, seven years after the type's introduction. The 500th was delivered by Gulfstream's Appleton Completions Facility in September 2022. The Gulfstream G650 was formally launched as an internal company project in May 2005 and publicly unveiled on March 13, 2008. At the public announcement occasion, company executives stated the new model would become Gulfstream's largest, fastest, and most expensive business jet on entry to the market. The wing design was completed in 2006. A total of 1,400 hours of wind tunnel testing was completed by 2008. A pressure test fuselage was built and tested, including an ultimate pressure test of 18.37 psi. The G650 taxied under its own power for the first time on September 2 G650 hit a maximum speed of max zero. 995 during a dive as part of its 1,800-hour flight test program. In April 2011, a G650 crashed shortly after liftoff. The cause was determined to be related to the speeds carried out for the single-engine takeoff run. The G650 test aircraft were grounded until May 28, 2011, where the remaining test aircraft were allowed to return to flight testing. On September 7, 2012, the G650 received its type certificate from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration (FAA). Its first delivery was to an American customer, Preston Hen, on December 27, 2012. 19, the G650 had a nominal list price of $64.5 million in 2013, but there was a three-year waiting list. Some aircraft produced for delivery in 2013 sold for more than $70 million to buyers that wanted to take immediate delivery. After rising to $71.73 million in 2014, initial enthusiasm dissipated, and the value of pre-owned G650 stabilized at $50 million after the competing Bombardier Global 7500 was certified in 2018. On May 18, 2014, Goldstream announced that the annual European 6 2009. 10. A public rollout ceremony was held on September 29, 2009. The G650 had its maiden flight on November 25, 2009. Flight testing for the maximum operating speed of Mach 0.925 was announced as completed on May 4, 2010. Gulfstream reported on August 26, 2010 that the Business Aviation Association exhibition, that it had developed an extended range version called the G650ER. The G650ER is capable of flying 7,500 nautical miles, 13,900 kilometers, 8,600 miles at Mach 0.85 due to its 4,000 pounds, 1,814 kilograms increase in fuel capacity. Gulfstream stated that in March a G650ER development aircraft had flown non-stop from Hong Kong to Teterboro, New Jersey in the United States, 
a distance of 7,494 nautical miles, 13,879 kilometers, 8,624 miles. It had also flown non-stop from Los Angeles to Melbourne, Australia. The extra fuel is housed in existing space inside the G650's wings and aircraft, already built, may be quickly upgraded to the ER version. The G650ER received its certification in October 2014 and began deliveries in late 2014. The G650ER attempted to world records from New York to Beijing to Savannah in February 2015. The same year, a G650ER set a new record for the longest non-stop flight by a purpose-built business jet, flying 8,010 nautical miles, 14,835 kilometers, 9,218 miles from Singapore to Las Vegas with four passengers and crew. The record was surpassed by a Bombardier Global 7500 in March 2019, before the G650ER retook the record in April 2019 by flying 8,379 mini, 15,518 kilometers from Singapore to Tokson. Also in May 2014, Gulfstream confirmed that the G650 would be offered to the United States Air Force for its program to replace the E-8C JSTARS air-to-ground surveillance and targeting aircraft. The still emerging requirements call for an aircraft with a 10 to 13 man crew and a belly mounted radar 3.9 to 6 m, 13 to 20 up, long 27. However, during the fiscal 2019 budget rollout briefing, it was announced that the Air Force will not move forward with an E-8C replacement aircraft. Funding for the JSTARS recapitalization program will instead be diverted to pay for development of an advanced battle management system 2829. In September 2018, Gulfstream was conducting testing at London City Airport to certify the aircraft to perform steep approaches. Citation needed in 2022. Its equipped price was $68.5 million for the G650 and $70.5 million for the G650ER30. G700. On the eve of the October 2019 NBAA convention and exhibition in Las Vegas, Gulfstream announced its new flagship, the G700, showing a video of the aircraft taxiing under its own power in Savannah. It should fly 7,500 mi 13,890 kilometers at Mach 0.85 or 6,400 mi 11,853 kilometers at Mach 0.90. Its longer cabin can accommodate up to five areas and has 20 windows. It is powered by Rolls-Royce Pearl 700 engines and has new winglets. Customer deliveries should start in 2022-31. The $75 million jet is a 10 feet, 3.0 meters, stretch of the G650. The aircraft completed its first flight on February 14, 2020-32. The G700 should share its fly-by-wire cockpit with the G500-G600, Active Control Side Sticks, and Honeywell Primus Epic Flight Deck with synthetic and enhanced vision systems for a common type rating. The jet is 110 feet, 33.5 meters, long, about 9.8 feet, 3 meters, longer than the G650ER and about 0.98 feet, 0.3 meters, shorter than the competing Bombardier Global 7500. Its main cabin is 57 feet, 17.4 meters, long, 6.2 feet, 1.9 meters, high and 8.2 feet, 2.5 meters, wide, 2.6 feet, 0.8 meters, longer, 0.33 feet, 0.1 meters, wider and a fraction taller than the 7500's cabin. It should carry 19 seated passengers or sleep 10. It will have a MTO bully of 107,600 pounds, 48,800 kilograms, and the 18,250 all, 81.2 kN, 
Turbofins should burn 2 to 3% less fuel than the G650's RRBR 725s. The aircraft should take off from a 6,250 feet, 1,905 meters, runway at MTLW and land in 2,500 feet, 762 meters, at a typical landing weight 33. It has the same 1,283 square feet, 119.2 square meters, weighing with its 33 degrees wing sweep. But the more outboard canted winglets are 3.4 feet, 1.0 meters wider. The basic operating weight increases from 54,500 to 56,000 pounds, 24,700 to 25,400 kilograms and the wet wing fuel capacity increases slightly by 1,200 pounds, 540 kilograms. The Pearl 700 turbofan is an improved version of the BR725 with one more low pressure turbine stage, an overall pressure ratio over 50 to one, and a bypass ratio higher than 6.5 to one for a three to 5% better thrust specific fuel consumption. After flight tests, it should best its competitors' 7,700 mi, 14,300 kilometers range and reach up to 7,800 to 8,000 mi, 14,400 to 14,800 chem, 34. In 2022, its equipped price was $78 million 30. G800, on October 4, 2021, Goldstream unveiled in Savannah the 8,000 mi, 14,800 km, range Goldstream G800, with the G700 wing and Pearl 700 engines, offering four living areas and 16 windows, with deliveries from 2023-35. Priced at $72.5 million 30, the G800 has a G650 size cabin, 10 feet shorter than the G700s, and with two fewer windows, 36, the G800 first flew on June 28, 2022. Thanks for watching.